put hide squarely in the center, you see that we are continuing to pass along racist, discriminatory policy, and that is unacceptable. Systemic racism is a government-funded organization that disproportionately kills black lives. How about that for a definition? Hey, ProLifeCon, I'm Ryan Bomberger. And I'm Bethany Bomberger. And we're the founders of the Radiance Foundation, mm -hmm. a life affirming, nonprofit, factivist mm -hmm. organization. Right, where we believe that very crazy notion that every life, whether it is planned or unplanned, has purpose. You know, it's great to join you on this powerful day as hundreds of thousands are gathering right here in the nation's capital yeah. for the annual March for Life. Yep, yeah, despite the vaccine mandates, everybody's coming out and we are joining millions in their own cities across the country because we all believe that this is the year that we abort, abort Roe. Okay, so with mm -hmm. that in mind, yes, with that in mind, we want to give you the top 10 reasons to abort Wrong. Absolutely. Okay, so number 10. So we can stop being like North Korea and China. Do you know that the United States is as extreme as those oppressive regimes when it comes to abortion? Very few countries around the world allow abortion without restriction. And now we're counted along with those countries. Yeah, we don't want to be on that list. I don't like it. Number nine, so we can end centuries old systemic racism. Yes. What is systemic racism? Mm -hmm. Glad you asked. It's a government funded entity that disproportionately kills black lives. And we're talking 360 black lives killed by Planned Parenthood every single day. Not okay. Planned Not Parenthood okay. is the leading killer of black lives. Exactly. Number eight, because Roe doesn't save women's lives. Mm -hmm. You know what? Better health care does. Prenatal care, postpartum care, those are the things that save women's lives. Yes, she knows what she's talking about too, by the way. Number seven, so that fathers can be equal. Yeah. You know, men have no say in the protection of the lives that they help to procreate. Mm. Can we all just go for some equal protection mm -hmm. under the law? That's what I'm about. Mm -hmm. Hashtag bro life. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> okay, number six. So there can be less post-abortion trauma for women and men because Roe not only kills, it causes lifelong suffering for those who believe the lie. Oh, mm -hmm. Come on. Number five, so that taxpayer dollars can support life. Yes, Enough sending it. half a billion annual taxpayer dollars to mm -hmm. Planned Parenthood and instead mm -hmm. reallocate these vital funds, which are mm -hmm. our money, mm -hmm. to real health care, pregnancy centers mm -hmm. and parenting support, adoption grants and more life affirming options. It's good. I like that one. All right. Here's number four, because abortionists need real jobs. I'm all about, let's get them out of what they're doing and into the practice of medicine where they can do good Come on. and not harm. I'm all about that. Number three, because churches need to step it up. Mm. Come on, churches should be rushing to defend and protect those made in the image of God. They should be fulfilling their biblical mandate. Mm -hmm. That's what we should be doing as the church all the time. Yeah. Evil flourishes when churches are silent mm. and passive about yeah. injustice. This will push them to have to really move into that place, Amen that landscape. That. All right, number two. How about so no woman dies inside of a Planned Parenthood? Yeah. Or any other abortion mill for that yeah. matter? Hundreds have died since Roe, but they've been deemed acceptable collateral damage exactly. to a reckless and unaccountable abortion industry. That is the truth. Mm -hmm. And the number one reason to mm -hmm. abort Roe, which actually needs no other reason, mm -hmm. honestly, is number one. So, so we, we can, can abolish, abolish abortion. abortion. Yes, on. so we can end killing innocent lives. 64 million, babe. 64 million have been killed since Roe v. Wade. I, mm -hmm. I can't even wrap my mind around that number. Right, it's 64 million reasons to end this injustice, folks. You know, many thought slavery would never be abolished. True. <laughs> many gave up, but yet there was that remnant that didn't give up. And so here we are, and yeah. I'm not a slave, right. and I'm really glad about that. I like that. that. So yeah. someone never gave up. And neither can we. Right, let's stand together, folks. Let's stand together so that we can abort, abort Roe. Roe.